Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people. Today I'm going to um, show you a demonstration of a jQuery Zoom plugin. Let's straight away jump into action. This is an image of a strawberry uh, cheesecake smoothie. And uh, Notice what happens when I hover over. It throws up a title. Not only that, it zooms up to its original size. Initially, up front here, it was actually crunched. Crunched through the width and the height attribute. Um, in the HTML of the document, but when I zoom on the image, or basically when I hover on the image, it not only throws up this title, it also goes back or retains or resets itself to its original size, doing a fade in and a fade out or a mouse over and a mouse out uh, over one second. This fade in, fade out transition is actually uh, happening over one second. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more that I can do with the plugin. I'm going to show you just that. Uh, let me first bring up the local site folder. <coughs> okay. Uh, ideally, you should actually keep everything uh, categorized properly in different folders, but you know, just keeping things simple is a very small uh, demonstration. I've kept everything in the root of the doc document. This is a curve file. This again is a curve file, a cursor file that is. Okay, this is uh, uh, I think a PNG or a JPG file. Just need to check on that. Properties, details, PNG. Yep. <coughs> this is the latest jQuery version uh, that you can grab from jQuery.com. This is the plugin jQuery.zoom.js, and this is an external JS file that you have to write that we connect with the HTML of the document. This is uh, one image, and this is the other image. With you know, basically both images are the same, except that the second image has a title. And this is the HTML of the document, which is uh, right now open here. This is zoom.html open here in H you know the uh, as an HTML document. Okay. In fact, I'm not going to focus uh, straight away on the HTML of the document. I'm going to focus on the JS part, the JS that we wrote, which is connected to the HTML zoom.html. Okay. You see, this was the result of the hard work of Mr. Jack L. Moore. Jack Moore. Jack L. Moore. Right? He's created the plugin, but uh, the way he uh, described it on the website, the instructions that he's given, the usage uh, can confuse a lot of guys and it's not so very simple so not so very easy to understand so what I did was I just took the simple part simplified it even further you know and that is uh, and, and I'm gonna present it to you uh, if you go through the instructions that he's given out here you may or may not understand I'm not so sure some of you may some of you may not some of you you know uh, may uh, get a little confused he also has a file that you can actually download and use but again I, I, I looked at the example that he had given and it may be a little confusing and lay maybe a little um, you know a little concise than what you would actually you need more elaborate explanation and examples so what I did was I took the best part I took the simplest part I simplified it and what I'm about to present uh, should really work for everybody uh, and sh should not confuse any person and uh, you know should come across as very simple very lucid very easy and very uh, uncomplicated to replicate guys okay so what I've done is the project I have segregated he, he kept it in on one single page I've segregated it into two different pages the magnifying uh, magnify.js and zoom.html and the HTML of the document uh, is connected to the magnify.js through the script tags out in line number 44 he, uh, 944 okay and all the modifications uh, manipulation should ideally go out here in the magnified or chess file okay now what's happening is <coughs> see the trigger is on a mouse over it could be on a grab uh, and there are other uh, triggers too see uh, let's keep things very simple let's start off with a very simple manipulation magnify one now basically means that I am making the image go back to its original size I can make it 
go back to more than its original size by changing the value out here instead of one I can actually make it two and just notice what happens uh, to the end result let's bring up the browser yep you know let's uh, this see this is the original no uh, no not this let's kill this this, this is the uh, this is the one right this is the example that I was showing you okay this is zoom set to one I've just set it to two now so let's refresh and notice that now it's a lot bigger it's actually bigger than the main original image although that will cause a little bit of graining okay since it's overshot its original size but it zooms in real nice okay now let's do a little mo uh, bit more of the manipulation let's manipulate it a little further so see on mouse over magnify duration uh, URL these are additional optional parameters let's alter these parameters even further the duration as you see right now is uh, 1000 if you do not mention the additional option parameter duration it will default to this value 120 so if I drop down the value the duration of the transition which is fade in fade out let's see what happens let's refresh reload see almost instant right almost instant you could hardly see the fade in so I uh, don't, don't like that so let's reset the magnification back to one so additional optional uh, parameter magnify set to one now <coughs> let's touch this one in fact let's have a preview as, as well reload no, we I need to save it first so go back so save get back let's reload yeah that's magnification into one but at in uh, you know in 120 ms milliseconds so that's too fast so I was very I really loved the slow transition in fact let's keep it around 800 this time okay let's get back let's reload yeah nice real nice okay now I'll tell you why this title is coming up and why how can we actually remove it you see there's an option out here it says URL see if you set the URL to false let me just remove this bit and set it to false if you do that it's gonna not take up a new image is gonna fall back to its own image you know right now what's happening it's actually using up a different image if I bring up the local site folder it's changing image from this to this you're changing the URL if you do not specify the URL it's gonna just zoom up on the first image itself the original image itself and not the image with the the title provided this is the image with the title provided let me just uh, bring it up see this one has a title the first one does not have a title that's the only difference okay so what I've done is I've set the URL to false which means if the URL is not provided why we uh, why do we need to provide a URL for the title no not for the title it's basically uh, to have a higher resolution bigger image out here and a low resolution original image which can be blown up to a high resolution image so that is the main idea you know uh, the plugin was written I just uh, you know just use an idea I just put a title out there but ideally you can have a low res uh, smaller image so that the page loads faster and high res a bigger image on a zoom up so but I actually put a title that was my call but you shouldn't ideally be using it that way you should be using the low res high res images resolution cool so let's say save and let's say if I were not to you know provide a URL what will happen it will fall back to the own uh, the first image itself okay yeah you see without a title now so it's it's not using the other image it's using itself and going back to the magnification one basically the original size which was you know which was crunched see the original size is much bigger it's 700 by 500 something I crunched it using the width and the height and I'm just blowing it back using the zoom plugin right so now you know how to alter this so what about touch touch is touch screen enabled uh, you know for touch screen enabled devices let's keep it uh, to true just in case you have a touch screen not false because we, we Androids and uh, iPhones etc for you know any device that's actually touch screen we'll need that option we do, won't have a click out there you know the so we'll mainly be using touch so let's let's always keep this to uh, true why would uh, somebody keep it at false I, I don't know 
okay now this on mouse over can change to on grab as well see what happens now I'll have to make a change here and also we'll need to go out here in fact this tutorial will be covered up in two parts the first part is only gonna show you the, the browser preview the different results in the second one I'm actually gonna explain it uh, in detail but this will be more of a, a preview so going uh, out here in line number 50 changing the class to zoom as well as grab so multiple classes used with the span tag out here in line number 50 that ends in line number uh, 53 let's just save all and let's see the result save all rather <coughs> Wait, let's get back to the browser let's reload now see what happens as I hover over see the you know the the mouse pointer turn into a hand and if I click in the active state only in the active state uh, as I move around you can see the zoom happening and see the hand actually turn its shape you know the finger curl in see the the hand see the finger curl in this is happening because of the curve files this is a curve file here and the curve file here grab and grabbed again as I said I'll uh, take you into detail only in the second part cool right so you see there I've used the grab class again explanation let's reserve it for the other part okay what else can I do uh, there are other triggers like um, just give me a sec the triggers like let me just pause the video and think for a minute Oof. yeah one was click and the other was toggle so uh, <coughs> on click let's set it to on click okay go back out here remove the grab class again the explanation let's reserve it for the next part and uh, this I've changed it to click okay let's just save all and ring up the browser yep let's reload and if I hover nothing happens not only that this 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 hover needs to change to on click or just simply click let's change it's not here here the paragraph uh, let's change this to click or click me or whatever you know when I had actually set it to grab I should have used the words grab me or just grab I should have done that I forgot to do that anyway so if I get back out here if I reload see it says click me out here with the uh, zoom lens symbol out here and nothing happens if I hover but if I click ah, if I click and then move around after uh, releasing the mouse button it zooms so this you know if I click again it goes back to the original size awesome okay let's check the other variation out let's change the additional option parameter on so on now this one was toggle if I remember correctly T O G G L E. okay file save all bring the browser up let's reload now let's click immediately zooms up if I move the mouse nothing happens if I click again original size this is a toggle click 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 zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out click here different area to zoom in click out here different area to zoom in click out here different area to zoom in cool so cool really okay at the same time I needed to change the label out here uh, click me uh, or rather toggle me uh, toggle click me something like that as long as it makes sense it's fine so where it says click me I'm gonna reload and toggle click me okay zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out cool so guys um, uh, in fact there's a lot of explanation that I need to do not at all too difficult don't be discouraged by this code it's actually not too much seriously around 50 lines of code you know and a lot of empty lines too so don't worry at all so I'm gonna explain in detail how this zoom plugin actually works for this you'll need to join me in the next part and the con which is also gonna be the final the concluding part you have a good day bye bye peace